guys, can somebody help me find anything sweet to eat so I can go to my soccer practice? Because I can't find anything in the fridge other than this damn tomato. You better thank God that there's anything at that fridge because we have consuming monsters in the house. You better watch your mouth with me because I'm still hungry. Allison, I think you don't want her to come and eat you because I assure you that she can. Mm, yeah. Even if she could, I don't think she can eat me properly. I'm like so hard to satisfy. Your brain seriously needs to be examined. How dirty can it get? I don't know. Why don't you come and find out? Mwah. That doesn't change the fact that I'm still hungry and you guys are annoying me. How are you hungry when you have a fruit in your hand? Oh, hallelujah. She finally said something wrong. Are you deaf? What exactly did I say that was wrong? Tomatoes are not a fruit, you dummy. Yes, it's a fruit, you dummy back. Oh, God. No, she's about to explain some very difficult things. And I just ate. And all I want to do right now is sleep. Well, scientifically speaking, tomatoes are a fruit. Because fruits are the things we get from the ovaries of the flower, which develop into seeds upon fertilization, then matures into a fruit. So tomatoes are exactly like strawberries and oranges, a fruit. Wait, does that mean that the Greek salad is actually a Greek fruit salad and they've been lying to us all this time? You know what, Jamie? This is the Greek's problem. We don't want to get into that. The Greek salad without the tomatoes is a salad. But with the tomatoes, you're kind of adding a fruit to the salad. So tomatoes are part of the fruit salad. Uh-uh, you know what? I don't accept this. Fruits are supposed to be sweet. Why are tomatoes not sweet? Is she trying to embarrass you? <laughs> Story of my life. But she's got a point there. Most fruits do taste sweet because they have a lot of sugar. And that's a strategy the fruit uses so that it attracts animals to eat it. Are you dumb? What kind of creatures want to be eaten? It'd be you. Mm, you want some too. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. But really, why would a fruit want to be eaten? Because it's a genius strategy. After the fruit is eaten, animals can't digest the seeds. But animals are always moving for different reasons to different areas. Then they have to, you know, poop the seeds in this different area. So the fruit grows there. Boop! You suck at explaining things. It's basically seed dispersal. Do you get it now? But tomatoes are not sweet. Why would the animals eat it, smartass? Actually, what you don't know is that tomatoes used to be very, very sweet, just like any other fruit. Are you dumb? Or do you think that we're dumb? Yes, I think you're dumb. Oh my god, how'd you know? Is she crazy? No one was even talking to her. If tomatoes used to be sweet, then why are they not sweet now? Because obviously something happened that made tomatoes not sweet anymore. To the point where we count them today as a vegetable. Us as humans are responsible for this major change. Wait, what a shame tomatoes used to be sweet. I would pay to taste that. What happened? Well, many, many, many years ago, we discovered something called crop breathing. The ancestors of the tomatoes we eat today are called the wild Peruvian tomato. Tomatoes used to be as small as raspberries with a variety of colors like yellow, green, and violet. And it was very, very sweet. Violet tomatoes? It sounds like you're about to poison me. God, I wish I could. But by time, humans started to choose certain types of tomatoes to plant and grow. Which types? The types that had the genes that made the tomato bigger with a lot of flesh so when you eat it it can actually fill you up wait did we seriously choose the big ones over the sweet ones who the hell in their sane mind would do that us Exactly, us. Only choosing the seeds of the big fleshy tomatoes made us lose the seeds of the small sweet ones simply because it wasn't planted. Poor sweet tomatoes. They disappear just like dinosaurs. Wait, you thought that tomatoes were the only food we changed from sweet to not sweet? I'm not ready to hear this. Something happened to strawberries. The ancestor of strawberries was called the Fragoria Vesca and it was super sweet but it had the same problem as the tomato. It was very small, much smaller than the strawberries we see today. Plus, it had a very weak immunity system, so it didn't really fight disease as well. Wait, fruits have an immunity system? Ignore her, please. Please ignore her. Abba, 
that you had the same questions you're still embarrassed to ask. A French spy was in Chile. While returning to France, he brought back different seeds of strawberries than the ones that were in France, called Fragoria chelonesis. This type of strawberries was bigger, but it wasn't as sweet as the Fragoria vesca. Farmers wanted the big part and the sweet part. So they did something called cross-breeding through a process called cross-pollination between the Fragoria vesca and the Fragoria chelonesis to create the garden strawberry, which is the strawberry we all know and love today. Yes, it's sweet, but it's not as sweet as the Fragoria vesca. Am I crazy or as we as humans are so selfish and all we want to do is just eat more? Why are you even surprised at this point? After all, we did choose to fill our stomachs instead of having a good taste. Guys, don't forget that people used to starve to death literally and still till today we have a lot of people dying from famines. So that choice does make sense when you truly deeply think about it. I agree. We better not judge them for choosing to survive. Wait, we got of course. I still can't find anything to eat other than this poor sad tomato.